Alright, so, I got my January book of the month. I like the box that says, Warning, this may contain excitement. Not so pleased with the beat up box, though. So, we'll see how everything looks. Thanks, USPS. I like the way it has book of the month and then the little designs on either side. Kind of says, you've got great taste. So the first book I got was First Lie First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. Could have pronounced that last name wrong, but hey. And then it is it says, Edie Porter has everything a nice southern good, a nice southern girl could want. A doting, doting boyfriend, a house with a right picket fence, tight group of friends. The only catch, the only catch, Edie Porter doesn't exist. That's why I picked this one up. So it tells you right here, it's January, 2024. And then pick this one up because I heard really good things about it. It says it's a historical fiction. But it says, uh, I like the little bubble there. It says, Children set the table, your mother needs a moment. So, heard really good things about it, heard it was funny. And I'll see what it's like. So far, all the books seem in pretty much good. Or did this one says love story? But Butcher and Blackbird, I've heard by by who? I guess Brian Reaver, or maybe it's Frank. I'm not uh sure how you pronounce the name, but I'm gonna go with Brian Weaver. Could be wrong. But it says, the viral friends to lover, dark romantic comedy full of murder, chaos, and sizzling chemistry. Every serial killer needs a friend. Every game must have a winner. Interesting. And then it's the, then their bookmark. It says, welcome to the friend zone, way to go. Happy three box anniversary, we're so glad uh, to call you friends with benefits. So their bookmark says. So yeah, that was my January book of the month, and um, I don't think I said it, but Lessons in Chemistry is by Bonnie Gar Garmuth. I'm gonna really have to learn these authors' names, but uh, it says Chemist Elizabeth Zout is not your average woman. In fact, would be the first point out there is no such thing as average women. Oh, it's er it takes place in the early 1960s. Okay. See how that goes. So, yeah, between this, the Drew McIntyre book that I got last night, the other book that I got today, and there's several other books that I have. Maybe I should do a book haul video, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Anyways, I'll catch y'all next time with the next video, whatever that might be.